Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your written content readable on image backgrounds with Divi. So this is the final design that we're aiming to design in today's tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. One of the most important things when designing a website is to make sure that when visitors come to your website, they can read your message easily. Now, one of the ways to do this is by using contrast. So in most cases, uh, you're going to use a light font on a darker background or a dark font on a light background. And this is what we'll be covering today. So the first thing I'm going to do here in my admin dashboard is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this page contrast. But of course, you can call this page whatever you want. This is just for demo purposes only. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click use the DV Builder. And then I'm going to go straight into the Visual Builder. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to add my background. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background, and I'm going to come over here to this third tab, click it, and then click this plus button to add our image. Now, I already have my image loaded into my media library. So if you haven't done so, you can go ahead and click upload files and navigate to where your image is on your computer. So I'm going to click my image here and then click upload an image. So you can see here that my image is now added. So the next thing we're going to do is to add some content. So what I'm going to do is to come over here and add my, my column structure and then add my text module. Okay, so over here I'm going to paste my uh, content and then I'm also going to add my dummy text in here. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to assign my heading. So you need to make sure there's a gap between these two types of content like that and then highlight what you want to make the heading and then you can select it that way. Otherwise, it's just going to select everything and make the whole thing as a heading. Okay, so now that we have that set, the next thing we're going to do is to customize our text. So I'm going to come over here to our design tab and then I'm going to go to my heading text and this is H2. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is to make sure that we have a very good neutral uh, colors and also for uh, sober font families. So here I'm going to choose a font I'm going to use for this and it's going to be Aleph. But you can use any font you want. What also helps this content to be uh, easy to read is to make it bold. So I'm going to come over here and change the font weight to bold like that for my heading and you can also make it all caps if you wanted to but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to align this. Okay so now that we've set our heading the next thing we're going to do is to set our text. So I'm going to come over here to text and then I'm going to scroll all the way down here and change my orientation to center like that and then I'm also going to come over here to sizing and I'm just going to reduce the width so I can have my text in two lines like that. And then I'm going to make sure that it's centered too. Okay, so now that I have all that set, you can also go ahead and um, uh, change the font if you wanted to. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to come over here and just set it to the one I used recently. Okay, my font weight is fine. I may just increase my size here to about, say, 17. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to add some padding. So I'm just going to save this for now and then I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design, spacing, and then over here on my padding, I'm going to start off by maybe trying 20% and see how that looks. Okay, that's fine. And then on the bottom, I'm going to do the same. Now this size may differ depending on the size of your monitor, but this seems to be working fine for me. So I'm just going to leave this at 20% uh, uh, padding to the top and 20% to the bottom. So I'm going to save that. And then the next thing I'm going to do here is to add our call to action button. So I'm going to click this plus button here and uh, search for my button. So it's right here. No need to search for it. And then over here for my button text, I'm just going to call this explore. But you can call, you can name this whatever you want. For the link, I'm just going to add a blank link for now. And then we're going to come over here to our design tab. And then we're going to align it to the center. And then I'm going to come over here to button and choose custom styles for button. Now this allows us to customize our button. Okay, 
So when it comes to the button on your pages, you have to uh, use a, a, a bright color for your call to actions because this is where you want the focus of the visitor to your website to see and take action. So uh, it's advisable to use bright colors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make a few changes to my border width. So in fact, I'm just going to change that and make it zero. And then for my uh, button background color, I'm just, I'm just going to add a bright blue. Okay, like that. So, okay. And then next, I'm going to come over here to my border radius. We're just going to change this button, make it look like a pill like that. And then I'm going to come over here to my letter spacing. I'm just going to maybe set it to about uh, 10. And then my font, we're going to change this to Aleph, as we did before. And then for my font style, I'm going to make it all caps. Now I can see here that my size is a bit too big. I'm just going to re reduce that to about, say, 15. And then also reduce my letter spacing. Okay, so six is fine. Okay, so that's our button right there. So we have all the elements that we need. Now it's time to make sure that um, this is readable. So for now, yes, we could say that it's, um, it's much easier to read here, but um, we'd like to make it even better. So what we need to do now is to apply our background overlays. So because our text here is dark, what we need to do is to make this image light. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings click on background, and then for my background color, I'm going to click this plus button here and add my color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a really light gray like that. And then I'm going to come back to my um, image, my image background. And then over here on my background image blend, I'm going to change this to overlay. Now straight away, you can see that this is a bit too much. So what you can do is to come back over here to your color click on it and then you can start adjusting and bring back the detail by just uh, scrolling down until you get a bit of color like that okay so that's much better now we are, it's much easier now to for us to or for our visitors to read what's on our screen so what we're going to do next is to do the opposite of this so what I'm going to do here to save me time I'm just going to duplicate this uh, section and then we're going to come over here to the bottom and straight away we're going to go into our section settings click on background and then over here instead of having a light color we're going to have a dark color so i'm just going to click here in the uh, in the center so we can access all our colors so i'm going to start off with black so straight away you can see that everything has gone really 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 dark so what you could do is you could start uh, lowering the opacity like that okay that's one way you could do it or you could come over here and um, just start dragging this to your grays like that. So you can choose which way suits you better. But make sure that you have some detail in the image so that it's much easier to read. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this because I'm happy with how, how it looks now. And then I'm going to come over here to my uh, module settings. And then I'm going to come over here to my text and make sure that this is set to light like that. Now we can see that it's much, much easier to read on this dark background. So that's how you add contrast. Okay. Now let's move on to our third example. Now in our third example, we're going to use a gradient. So what I'm going to do again is to duplicate this so that it's much easier for us to just um, use the elements that we have on our page. So I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and go into my section settings. Right, so what you can do here is to click to, uh, click the background. Now, instead of having this black background color, let's go ahead and delete this and let's add a gradient. So I'm going to click this plus button and straight away you can see that um, our colors, our default colors has been applied. So what I'm going to do now is to just add a, um, a very light gray like that. And then I'm going to come over here to my second color. Now, this is where you can play around with different colors to achieve, you know, whatever style or look that you want. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to drag this to the really dark blues. You can play around with these colors and see what works better for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. 
Okay, so in our final example, I'm gonna show you how to add a text shadow to make our text stand out. So I'm gonna come over here to my uh, module settings, click on design, click on text, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here. And the option I'm gonna use is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it. So straight away, we can see that there's a shadow uh, behind our text and that has made our text much easier to read. So I'm just gonna make a slight change over here. So I'm just gonna change my text shadows uh, blur strength to 0 0.84, like that. And that's looking much better already. And then we're just gonna save. So you can now see that um, it's much easier now for our visitors to, to read our text when they come to our website. Now this as well works much, much better if your text is really large. So just bear that in mind. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos, similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.